Welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Pushpinder Gill and this is my email address. So today we're going to do topic called time and work. Now this is one of the most important topics in all the exams such as GRE, GMAT, SAT, CAT, uh, all the Indian exams as well. Now this is one of the most important topic. Now uh, there'll be a lot of videos on this topic. So this is the video one, right? This is the first video that we're going to do on this topic. We're going to understand the topic. Now let's just move forward and uh, see what we have here. Now this is the most simple statement that you can see in such a topic that a, a is a person here can do a work in two days so if a can do a work in two days what can we come up with that statement so if a can do a work in two days that means in one day he does half of the work right it's simple he's doing the work in two days and the first day is finishing 50 percent of the work and the second day is finishing 50 percent of the work that means in the first day he's finishing half of the work uh, so if I can say that that if A can do a work in three days so what do you mean from that so if A can do a work in three days that means in the first day he's finishing one-third of the work in second day he's finishing one-third of the work similarly in the third day as well he's finishing one-third of the work Now this is the basic terminology that goes around here right so if I want to generalize this thing here and I say if A can do a work in N days, right? Let's suppose if A can do a work in N days, so that means every day he'll be finishing 1 by N of the work right so every day he'll be finishing one by n of the work so even if you want to take it other way around let's suppose every day let's suppose if I say that every day a finishes one by eighth of the work so if every day a finishes one by eighth of the work that means it is going to take eight days for a to finish all the work Right, so I hope this terminology is clear that if A can do a work in N days, he'll finish one by nth of the work every day in terms of fractions. And if A can do one nth of the work every day, then he'll take N days to finish the job. Right. So let's move forward. Now, uh, this is a general type of question. People say to you, A can do a work in three days. B can do a work in two days. Uh, tell me how many days both are going to take the work right so if over here let me just rephrase this question for you I'll come to the general part later right let me say a here can do a work in two days and B here again can do the work in three days tell me together how many days both are going to take to finish the job now a here can do the work in two days that means every day he finishes half of the work similarly B here can do the work in three days that means every day he can finish one-third of the work now a and B are working together that means together they are finishing half plus one-third so they are finishing this much of work every day right and if we calculate it it comes out to be 5 by 6 so they are finishing 5 by 6 of the work every day now this is the amount of work that is finished every day so number of days that they're going to take to finish the work is nothing but 6 by 5 so these are the number of days that they're going to take to finish the job now yes the, the 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 variables over here were simple and you were able to solve this question very simply now I'm going to give you a tool wherein you can uh, solve the question more easily just by plugging in the values now let's see this over here let's say a can do a work in a days and B can do a work in B days that means a will be doing one by a of the work every day and B will be doing one by B of the work every day so together they will be doing 1 by A plus 1 by B of the work every day which is nothing but equal to A plus B upon AB 
right? So this is equal to the work done by them in a single day. That means the number of days that they're going to take to complete the work is the reciprocal of that. That is AB by A plus B. Now this is the work number of days taken by both A and B to finish the job. Now you see, you have this expression over here. Just plug in the values. A takes two days to finish the job. B takes three days to finish the job. Together they'll take three into two, that is six, divided by three plus two, that is five. So six by five is your answer, right? Let me say, the question is, A takes six days to finish the job, and B takes seven days to finish the job. So your answer would be seven into six, that is 42, divided by seven plus six, that is 13. So these are the number of days both are going to take to finish the job. Now I hope that is simple. The simple questions you can solve within a flash of second. So this uh, would be very simple for you guys, right? Now let me just add one more thing here. Let me add the third person. And now I ask you, in how many days is A, B, and C together are going to take to finish the job? Now it's very simple. Now A take A days, that means he'll finish the job in one by A days. Right? In, sorry, in one day, he'll be finishing one by A of the work. Right? Similarly, B takes B days to finish the job. In one day, he'll be finishing one by B of the work. And C takes C days to finish the job. In one day, he'll be finishing one by C of the work. Now, together, they'll be finishing this much of work if we add it. So this comes out to be A, B plus B, C plus C, A divided by A plus B plus C. Now this is the job done by them in, I'm sorry, it's A into B into C, guys. Now this is job done by them in one single day. So how many days they are going to take to finish this job is just the reciprocal of that. That is ABC upon AB plus, let me write it, BC plus CA. Now this is the number of days taken by A, B, C together to finish the job, right? Now, this, this is just the expression that you need to use. Now, let me say A takes three days to finish a job, B takes two days to finish a job, and C takes three days to finish the job. So in how many days they're all going to take to finish the job together? Just plug in the values, right? Just plug in into it, just fill the values, substitute the values into the ex expression, and you'll get your answer, right? So this is for the easy questions, right? The, for, the, the, for the basic level questions that you get. Okay, A takes, A takes 10 days to finish the job, B takes 20 together, they'll take how many days, right? So now let us learn one more approach which is quite universal and you need to learn that approach as well because it is going to help you in complex questions. Now, if A can work, do a work in three days and B can do the same work in six days, in how many days will A and B together can complete the job? Now, I'm going to do this question in two ways, right? So, the first way is the simple way. Now, A takes three days to finish the job, B takes six days to finish the job. So together, they will take A into B. If you if you have watched the video, or, or you, you must be knowing this. A into B plus A plus B. That is 18 by 9. That is together, both of them, they're going to take two days to finish the job. Easy, right? Now let me tell you one more approach, which is going to help you a lot in the future. Now A takes three days to finish the job, and B takes six days to finish the job. Now let me go ahead and assume the job to be of some specific units. Now let me just, just go on with me guys here. So the what will be the number to assume? Now let me assume that the job is of six units. Right? Let me assume the job is of six units. It can be anything. It's making it's making six burgers or it's it's uh, you know walking six kilometers. It, it can be anything. So if the job is of six units. Now if A finishes the job in three days, that means per day he will be finishing two units. So it is two units per day. Right? 
Similarly, if B can finish the job in six days and the job is of six units, that means he'll be finishing one unit per day. Now together if they are working, that means together they are finishing three units per day. So together they are finishing three units per day, right? And the job is of six units, so they're going to take six by three, that is equal to two days to finish the job. Now let me just recap this, uh, this whole uh, procedure here. Now A takes three days to finish the job, B takes six days to finish the job. So I assume the work to be of some units. Let me assume the work is of six units. So if this work is of six units and A is able to finish the job in three days, that means the rate uh, that which he is finishing the job is two units per day. The rate over here is one unit per day. So together they are finishing three units per day. So if they both are finishing three units every day, to finish six units, they're going to take two days. Right now, this is an approach which is going to help you a lot in the future. Now, you you guys will realize that in the coming part because this is easy, but this is basic stuff. This over here, it's more advanced and uh, you know more flexible stuff. Let's see that. Right, so I assume the work to be of six units, right? And uh, you know it, it's like that. So we got the answer, right? Let's move further. So A can do a work in twelve hours sorry, A can do a work in 12 hours, B can do the same work in 15 hours, in how many minutes A and B together can complete that work, right? Now I know that the, the previous approach is pretty simple, 15 into 12 by 15 plus 12, okay? Let's, let's keep that uh, aside and let's use the other approach over here. So A over here can finish the task in 12 hours, right? B over here, can finish the same task in 15 hours. So A can finish the task in 12 hours, B can finish the task in 15 hours. So what I need to do, I need to assume the task to be of some units. Now what is the best number to assume? It's LCM of this numbers, 12 and 15. So let me assume the task to be of 60 units. So I assume the task to be of 60 units. Now, if A can finish the task in 12 hours, that means he must be finishing five units per hour, right? So this is the rate. Similarly, B can finish the task in 15 hours. That means he must be finishing four units every hour. Now, since both of them are working together, so they will be finishing nine units every hour. Right? So they finish nine units every hour and the work is of 60 units. That means the number of days they're going to take to finish the job is 60 by nine hours. Right? Which is nothing but, uh, it's, if you cut with three, that is 20 by three hours. But if you see over here, the question is asking you in how many minutes. So to convert hours into minutes, I just need to multiply it by 60 and I get my answer as 400, right? Now guys, it's, it, it's pretty simple over here that what I did. Let me just take a quick recap. A can do the job in 12 hours. B can do the same job in 15 hours. So I assumed the work to be of some specific units, that is 60 units. So I assumed the work to be of 60 units. Now A can finish the task in 12 hours. That means he finishes the hours in five, uh, he, he finishes five units every hour. B can finish the task in 15 hours, that means he finishes four units every hour. Together they finish nine units every hour. So if the work is of 60 units and they're finishing nine units every hour, so this many hours are going to take them to finish the job. And if I have to convert hours into minutes, I have to multiply it by 60. So I got my answer as 400. Right? So I hope you're understanding. We're going to do some more questions for you to become familiar with this technique, right? Okay, let's do, let's go further. So A can do a work in 20 days and B can do a work, uh, B can do the same work in 15 days. So how many days uh, B alone can do that work? Now A alone can do the work in 20 days. Now let's start doing this question. So first of all, the first step of ours, it should be laying down the question. Now A can do a work in 20 days, so let me say, a over here, he can do the work in 20 days. 
A and B together can do the work in 15 days. Now A and B together are able to complete the work in 15 days. So he's asking how many days is B alone going to take to finish the job. Now this is our question over here. So what is the first step? The first step is to assume the work to be of some units. So uh, what are the numbers here? 20 and 15. So the best number would be the LCM, the least common multiple of 20 and 15. So let me go ahead and assume the work to be of 60 units. So I have assumed the work to be of 60 units. For the sake of uh, simpleness, you can always assume it to be 60 burgers or 60 kilometers or something like that. So uh, the work is of 60 units and A is able to finish the job in 20 days. That means he's finishing three units every day, right? That means he's finishing three units every day. Similarly, A and B together are able to finish the job in 15 days and the work is of 60 units. That means they're able to finish four units every day. So since A is able to finish three units every day, A and B is able to finish four units every day, that means A must be finishing one unit every day so that this three plus one adds up to four. Now since B is able to finish one unit every day and the job is of 60 units, that means that he must be taking 60 days to finish the job. It's like if he eats one burger every day and the, he has to eat 60 burgers, that means he'll take 60 days, right? So I hope it's clear to everyone what I'm trying to convey here. Uh, let's, let's take a quick recap. So what was the first... The, question asking us. The question was that A can do a work in 20 days. A and B together can do the same work in 15 days. In how many days B alone can do that work? Now, our first step was to lay down the question. So we knew that, okay, the, he, this is what he's asking. He has given us how many days A takes. He has given us how many days A and B takes. And he's asking us how many days will B take to finish the job. So first step is to assume the number of questions, so, no, the number of units. So we assume the work to be of 60 units. So the work that is taken as the LCM of 20 and 15, so that there is no fractions involved in the question. So the total work is of 60 units. Now, a over here is able to finish three units every day and A and B are able to finish four units every day. That means B must be finishing one unit every day. So since he's finishing one unit every day and the job is of 60 units, that means he will total take 60 hours. Okay, I'm sorry, it's 60 days. Fine. He's going to take 60 days to finish the job, right? I hope everyone understood this method over here. It's very simple. Let's go ahead and move forward. Now, A can do, let's do, look, look at this question. A can do a work in 20 days. B can do the same work in 30 days. And A, B, and C can complete that work in 10 days. How many days will C alone will take to finish the job? Right. So uh, our first step over here, uh, let's let's lay down the question. Now, what is he asking us? Right. So A can finish the job in how many days? 20 days. B can finish the job in how many days? 30 days. C, we, that's what we have to find out. And all of them together, adding up all of them together, they're able to finish the job in 10 days. Right? So what we need to do first is we need to assume some number of units. So let me say, what is the LCM of 20, 30, and 10? The, the best number that I can take is, is 60. So let me take 60 to be the work, 60 to be the total number of units. So, I'm sorry, I've already told you the answer. So the total work is 60 units. So. Uh, the total work is equal to 60 units. That's what I'm going to take. Now, A over here can finish the job in 20 days. That means he must be finishing three units per day, right? Similarly, B over here is able to finish the job in 30 days. That means he must be finishing 
two units per day because the, the the total work is of 60 units and he's finishing the work in 30 days that means every day is finishing two units now if we talk about a b and c they're able to finish the job in 10 days and the work is of 60 units that means together they finish six units per day since they were able to finish the job in 10 days and the work is of 60 units so they're finishing six units per day now if you can see clearly here a finishes three units b finishes two units and a b and c finish six units now where is this one extra unit coming from yes it's coming from c so c alone can do one unit per day so if c is able to finish one unit per day and the work is of 60 units that means c alone will finish the work in 60 days now again it's days here guys i'm sorry now C alone will be able to finish the work in 60 days. Now I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to establish here. Uh, what kind of uh, uh, questions are these? So these are good questions and which you're able to solve it logically in a better manner, right? So let's just go, go ahead and move forward to the next question. Okay, so let's see the question. All right, sorry. So in this question, A and B together can complete a task in 12 hours, B and C together can complete the task in 15 hours, and C and A together can complete the task in 20 hours. So in how many hours, all three together will complete that task? Now, this is a very uh, good question, which uh, you can solve it pretty easily. Now let's see, the first step is to lay down the question. Now it says A and B can finish the task in 12 hours. So a and B together can finish the task in 12 hours. So in 12 hours, he is able to finish the task. B and C together is able to finish the task in 15 hours. So B and C together is able to finish the task in 15 hours and C and A together is able to finish the same task in 20 hours so C and A together is able to finish the task in 20 hours right now we have to find in how many hours all of three of them will take to finish the task that means A plus B plus C that's what I need to find how many hours they're going to take. So first step is the next step is to to assume the work to be of some specific units. Now A and B 12 hours, 15 hours and 20 hours. So what is the good number that you can give me the LCM of 12, 15 and 20. So that is 60 units. So let me assume the work to be of 60 units. So the work is of 60 units and A and B are able to finish the task in 12 hours. That means they must be finishing five units every hour. Similarly, B and C are able to finish the task in 15 hours. That means they must be finishing four units every hour because the work is of 60 units and they're finishing the task in 15 hours, right? Similarly, C and A are able to finish the task in 20 hours. That means they must be finishing three units every hour. Right. So A and B are able to finish five units every hour, B and C are able to finish four units every hour, and C and A are able to finish three units every hour. Right. Now if you see here, if I add all these number of units, it's five plus four, nine, nine plus three, twelve. So that is twelve units per hour. What does it give me? Now if you see here, the A's units have been added twice, B's unit have been added twice, and C's unit have been added twice. So this is nothing but giving me the twice the number of units that A, B, and C are going to take, are going to finish every R. Right? If, if let me just take a quick recap, let me tell you again that if I add all these values, if I add 5 plus 4 plus 3, what is it going to give me? It is going to give me the double, double the capacity of number of units that A, B, and C are going to finish every hour. If you see A has been added twice, B's capacity has been added twice, and C's capacity have been added twice. That means the number of units that A, B, and C are going to finish uh, every hour is nothing but half of this which is six units every hour 
right? So A, B, and C together are able to finish six units every hour, and the work is of 60 units. That means they're going to take 10 hours to finish the job, right? So I hope it is understood. It's it's a very simple question. Uh, like it's not a simple question, but yeah, it's 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 solvable simply, right? So you're able to solve it simply. Just take a quick recap. Now A and B are able to take uh, uh, finish the job in 12 hours. B and C are able to finish the job in 15 hours, and C and A are able to finish the job in 20 hours. So my first step is to assume the number of units. So I assumed a LCM of 12, 15, and 20. That is 60 units. So I assumed the work to be of 60. 60 units that means if it they take 12 hours to finish the job that means they must be finishing 5 units every hour uh, if they take 15 hours they finish 4 units every hour they take 20 hours they finish 3 units every hour adding all of it gives me 12 units every hour which on this side gives me twice the capacity of a b and c that means a b and c are able to finish 6 units every hour now if the work is of 60 units and they're finishing 6 units every hour that means they must be finishing the job in 10 hours right so I hope it is understood let's go ahead and uh, move to the next problem all right now let's see this question here now a and B can complete a task in 10 hours uh, B and C together can complete the task in 18 hours well C and A in 15 hours and how many hours B alone will take to complete that task it's a similar to the previous question is just the different in terms of what it is asking us so in how many hours B alone can finish that task now first let's just lay down the question now it says a and B can finish the task in 10 hours so a and and B can finish the task in 10 hours right so this is the number of hours in which they can finish the task similarly B and C as given in the question we're able to finish the task in 18 hours so B and C were able to finish the task in 18 hours similarly C and A we are able to finish the task in 15 hours. So for C and A, we're able to finish the task in 15 hours, right? So the next step it should be to assume some number of units, right? So let us assume some number of units and uh, what would be the LCM of uh, 10, 18 and 15, right? That would be 90. So let me assume the work to be of 90 units. So 90 units, it's my total work. So this is equal to my total work. So 90 units, it's my total work. Now A and B are able to finish the job in 10 hours and the, uh, the work is of 90 units. That means they finish nine units every hour, right? So this is the rate. Similarly, B and C take 18 hours to finish the job. To finish 90 units, they will be taking five units every hour. They'll be finishing five units every hour. Similarly, C and A would be finishing six units every hour, right? So this is what I have got here. Now, let's see something. Let's find what all three of them will take to finish the job. So as I told earlier in the previous question, uh, the twice the number of days taken by a uh, number of units finished by A and B and C is nothing but the sum of all three. So which is nothing but 6 plus 5, 11 plus 9, that is 20 units every hour, right? So A, B and C together are able to finish 10 units every hour. So A, B, and C are able to finish 10 units every hour. Now what we have to find? We have to find in how many hours B alone can complete that task. Now for that, we need how many units B alone can finish in the task. Now if you look carefully over here, A and B finish nine units every hour and A, B, and C finish 10 units every hour. So where is this extra unit coming from? It's coming from C right so let's talk about a b now a and c are able to finish six units every hour so let me just write it down here a and c are able to finish six units every hour and a b and c are able to finish 10 units every hour which means that 
B must be finishing four units every hour, right? I hope you're understanding this. A, B, and C are able to finish 10 units every hour. A and C are able to finish 6 units every hour. That means B must be finishing 4 units every hour. So we have got how many units is B finishing every hour and the total units is 90. That means B must be taking this many number of days to finish the job, right? Which is nothing but 22.5 so I hope everyone is understanding what we're trying to establish over here uh, uh, let me just take a quick recap uh, till here I suppose it must be um, you all must be understanding that A and B takes 10 hours B and C takes 18 hours they take 15 hours so I assume the work to be of 90 units that means they finish 9 units per hour they finish 5 units per hour and they finish 6 units per hour together of them they finish 10 units per hour now 3 of them are finishing 10 units per hour and 2 of them are finishing 6 units per hour that means the left person that is B will be finishing 4 units per hour now since B is finishing 4 units per R and the work is of 60 units that means it is going to take him 22.5 days to finish the job right so I hope it is underst understood to everyone uh, let's move to the next slide all right so let's see this question um, P can do a work in 12 hours Q can do the same work in 18 hours P started the work and Q joined him after 6 hours. How much time and all they took to complete the work? You see now the approach that I gave in the in the beginning of the video, see that approach is the basic approach. Now you all must be understanding how this uh, number of units approach is better, right? So let's see the question. Now first of all let's lay down the question. Now, P can do a job in 12 hours, right? So let's say P is able to do, do the job in 12 hours so this is ours Q can do the same job in 18 hours so Q over here is able to finish the same job in 18 hours now a next step should be to assume the work to be of some specific units so as I can see here it's 12 it's 18 uh, the, the LCM would be the better if I assume the work to be of 36 units right let's call it 36 burgers this time right so the work is that P and Q they have to eat 36 burgers now P over here can eat 36 burgers in 12 hours that means per hour he finishes three burgers so three units per hour similarly Q can fin finish 36 burgers in 18 hours that means he finishes two burgers per hour so this is the rate of P and this is the rate of Q so P started the work and Q joined him after 6 hours. That means P alone worked for 6 hours. So P alone worked for 6 hours. So for 6 hours, if P finishes 3 units per hour, so for 6 hours he must be finishing 18 burgers. So 18 burgers are finished by P right so 18 burgers are finished by P and there were a total of 36 burgers so we have to calculate how many remaining burgers are there so out of 36 burgers 18 burgers have been eaten that means 18 burgers are remaining so these are the number of units which are remaining right now let's go with the story let's see what they are asking now Q have joined P now Q have joined P and we have to see how many how much more time will it take and how much time it will take for them to finish this 18 units now if you see the rate of p and q p finishes three burgers every hour q finishes two burgers every hour that means together they finish five burgers every hour now if p and q together finishes five burger every hour and there are 18 burgers remaining that means the time taken by both of them to finish the remaining burger would be 18 by 5 hours right so which would be 18 by 5 hours now uh, what I need to do is since I have to calculate the total time taken by all of them to finish the job so the total time taken to finish the job would be equal to the time taken by P to work alone which is 6 hours 
plus the time taken over here that is 18 by 5 hours right so I hope you're understanding now we've got the answer right we just need to convert them into some specific units now what is uh, 18 by 5 hours which is if we divide 18 by 5 we get 3.6 right so which if we add both of them that is 9.6 hours fine so it's 9.6 hours so 0 0.6 hours is equal to 36 minutes so our answer is 9 hours and 36 minutes so I hope everyone understood this question this was a simple question a story kind of question and uh, you, you you didn't had any fractions you must be able to solve this question within a minute right so uh, let's move forward to the next question solved it here okay all right so let's read this question Suresh can do a work in 24 days Naresh can do the same work in 40 days Suresh started the work and Naresh replaced him after 12 days so in how many days from the beginning 75 percent of the work will be completed so first step is should be to lay down the question so Suresh is able to finish the work in 24 days so Suresh can finish the work in 24 days and Naresh can do the same work in 40 days so N over here is able to finish the job in 40 days right so what I need to do is I need to assume the work to be of some units so let me assume the work to be the total work to be of 120 units because that is the LCM of uh, 24 and 40 so Suresh over here is able to finish the work in 24 days that means he if the work is of 120 units he must be finishing five units every day similarly over here he must be finishing three units every day since he, he, the, he finishes the work in 40 days and the total work is of 120 units so five units per day here and three units per day here now let's see what is the question asking us the question is saying Suresh started the work and Naresh replaced him after 12 days so Suresh worked alone for 12 days so what is the rate of Suresh or rate of work done by Suresh so Suresh finishes five units every day so so he finishes five units every day that means working for 12 days he will finish 60 units 60 units will be finished by Suresh alone working for five days now what is the remaining work so we have to calculate what is the remaining work 120 is the total number of units 60 units have already been finished that means the work that is remaining that is equal to 60 units now the work that is remaining that is equal to 60 units 60 units of work is remaining now let's see further now Suresh has started the work and Naresh has replaced him that means Suresh has gone and now it's only Naresh who is working now Naresh is over here can finish three units every day right now the remaining work is of 60 units however we need to finish only 75 percent of the work now since 120 is the total work we just need to finish 75% of it right this is what we need to finish so if I see 75% is nothing but 3 by 4 and uh, we just need to finish 90 units right 90 units is what we need to finish and the total the, the total work uh, 60 units have already been finished so that means the remaining work is not this the remaining work is 90 minus 60 which is equal to 30 units you're understanding me guys here he doesn't need to finish the complete work he just need to finish 75 percent of the work so that means 30 units is what is remaining and he's able to finish three units per day which means he will be taking 10 more days to finish the job right he will be taking 10 more days to finish the job now he is asking for total number of days taken to finish the job which is equal to the days taken by Suresh that is 12 days 
plus the days taken by Naresh that is 10 days that is equal to 22 days so that means the work has been finished in 22 days to finish uh, the job right so I hope you're understanding what we're trying to do here so Resh can do a work in 24 days Naresh can do the same work in 40 days and uh, that means we assume the work to be of 120 units so it means Suresh finishes 5 units per day Naresh unit finishes 3 units per day and uh, that means uh, the remaining units are 30 and uh, since he finishes 3 units per day it will take him 10 days to finish the job so I hope everyone is understanding what I'm trying to do here you see this approach makes the question so easy you don't need to always look for a, 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 a trick or a shortcut right so this uh, approach helps you to solve the questions anytime in work questions if you take uh, pretty easily right okay so let's uh, see the next question all right so let's see this question over here tank a can fill a tank in 10 hours tap a i'm sorry and tap b can fill the tank in 15 hours if both are open simultaneously uh, how much time will it take to get the tank full so it's it's uh, it's pretty simple a can finish the job it's like this a can finish the job in 10 hours b can finish the job in 15 hours i know all of you must have got your answer till now so the number of days taken by them it's a into b divided by a plus b i hope you remember uh, in this beginning of this video i told you this so it's time to put it into use so which is nothing but this so they're going to take six days to finish the job got our answer right so I hope everyone is understanding what I did over here it's pretty simple you don't need to do anything in this right so six days is the uh, the number of day number of hours six hours is the number of hours taken by them to finish the job now let's see this question over here I'm sorry already giving you the answer so an inlet tap A can finish a tank in 12 hours while an outlet tap B can finish the empty uh, can empty the tank in 30 hours if both the taps are open simultaneously how much time will the tank well, how much time the tank gets full so A over here can fill the tank in 12 hours so A can fill it can fill the tank in 12 hours so this is fill right so let me write fill and B over here can empty the tank in 30 hours right so this is nothing but empty Are you understanding my point all right so let me assume the work to be of some units so it's 12 here is 30 here so let me assume the work to be of 60 units so the work is of 60 units now a over here is able to finish the job in 12 hours that means he must be finishing five units every hour similarly b over here is able to finish the job in 30 hours that means he must be emptying a negative of two units per hour right why I'm putting negative here because it empties the tank rather than fills the tank so if they simultaneously they work together that means they both are going to fill three units every hour and if the job is of 60 units that means it's going to take 20 day 20 hours I'm sorry to finish the job fine so it was a simple question I hope everyone understood this right so let's move forward okay now two inlet taps A and B individually can fill a tank in 12 hours and 15 hours respectively if these two taps are opened along with an outlet tap C which gets the tank uh, the tank gets full in 10 hours in how much time the outlet tap C alone can empty the full tank now let's just lay down the question what he has given to us he says A can fill the tank in 12 hours so that means A it's a positive positive means it can fill a tank in 12 hours fine B over here again a positive can fill the tank in 15 hours now C is what I have to find out and it has given me that A and B and C if they operate together now C is negative because C is an outlet tap right it empties they take 10 hours to finish the job right so a take 12 hours b take 15 hours and uh, together it takes 10 hours to finish the job now what I need to do is I need to assume the work to be of some units so I assume the work to be of 60 units so this is what I assume the work to be of 60 units now a takes 12 hours to finish the job that means he must be finishing 5 units every hour 
Similarly, B will be finishing four units every hour. And all three of them would be finishing six units every hour. Right? So if you see over here, A and B together can finish nine units every hour. But if A, B and C work together, they finish six units every hour. That means this C ta outlet trap must be emptying three units so that the sum over here comes out to be six. Now since it's emptying three units every hour and to empty 60 units, it is going to take 60 by three that is equal to 20 hours. Fine. So I hope it is understandable, right? Let me just take a quick recap. A can finish in 12 hours, B can finish in 15 hours, and all of them can finish it in 10 hours. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, fill it in 10 hours. So total work is equal to 60 units. A finishes 5 units every hour, B finishes 4 units every hour, and all of them finish 6 units every hour. So if we add A and B's units, it comes out to 9. But the total is 6. That means C must be emptying 3 units every hour. Now C is emptying 3 units every hour. To empty 60 units, it is going to take 20 days. Right? So I hope it is understandable. I hope everyone understood this question. Let's move forward. Okay. Now again, another question. Now this is a, a, a CAT question. So uh, most of our viewers who don't know what CAT is, it's the common admission test. So let's, let's see. A company has a job to prepare certain number of cans and there are three machines, A, B and C for this job. A can complete the job in three days, B can complete the job in four days and C can complete the job in six days. So how many days the company will take to complete the job if all the machines are used simultaneously right so uh, now let's lay down the question this guys now a can complete the job in three days now a over here can complete the job in three days b can complete the job in four days so b over here can complete the job in four days and c over here can complete the job in six days now how many days company will take uh, complete the job if all of the machines work simultaneously. So you can do this work question in two ways. Let me show you the two ways. The first way is using that formula. So if A takes A days to finish the job, B takes B days to finish the job, and C takes C days to finish the job, that means they are going to take this many days to finish the job, right? Either you apply this formula, right? Or if you don't want to apply it, you're too bothered with the calculation, just assume the work to be of some units. Let me assume the work to be of 12 units. Let me assume this is the total work. Now the work is equal to 12 units. A here takes three days. That means he must be finishing four units every day. He must be finishing three units every day. And he must be finishing two units every day. Together, they will be finishing nine units every day. All right? And if they're finishing nine units every day, the work is of 12 units. That means they will be finishing 12 by nine, which is nothing but they will take four by day, four by three days to finish the job. Isn't it simple question, guys? So it's four by three is the answer. So it's 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 a it's simple question, and it it's it come in the most prestigious examination in the nation. So I suppose that shows that this technique helps you a lot to understand the question better. Fine. So this was about uh, the first video of time and work wherein so this was the first video wherein we studied uh, the the basics of time and work. Now this is just the basics. There is whole lot of world for you to uh, explore in time and work. Now students of SAT, the SAT students can just stop here and take a breathe breather because you don't need to study any further. This is what pretty much covers everything of the ra uh, time and work which comes in your exam. And the other students for GRE, GMAT, uh, and CAT especially, they can move forward and watch the second video when we will be talking about alternate hours and further we'll talk about efficiency and so many things right so this was it and uh, there's my name and there is the email address where you can send me your valuable feedback thank you very much and see you next video